So, we have the Orlando Magic playing against the Detroit Pistons. And it was a fun one, man. Jonathan Isaac on the defensive end blocks it here. And he was spectacular. There's a menace in that first half. And overall, he played a great game, man. I like to see it. Here's Wendell Carter on the lane. And the Magic gained some separation here in the third quarter. And it looked like they were going to be great. And then the Pistons instantly rallied with a 19-2 run or something like that. They take the lead here on the Isaiah Livers three-pointer. The Pistons got some good fight in them, man. And it was great to see James Wiseman get some other playing time. Here we are in the fourth quarter. Paolo with the pull-up midi. The shot has been broke, but hey, he made this one. And it felt like they were gonna win, but man, did they have a plan. Paolo here was forced to take a really tough shot, man. He couldn't even get it to the rim. And after some free throw game, the Jaden Ivey, baby... Yeah, he hit the three-pointer here, ties the game, he was spectacular, I really, I really liked what I saw from Ivy over these last, I don't know, 20, 25 games or so, spectacular stuff from him, Paul drives it for the game winner, misses, and it's tipped in by Wendell Carter Jr., magic win, they stun the Pistons at the buzzer, it does count, they uh, can celebrate happily, it's great to see, they are still in some range of the plane spot, man, I would like to see it, Paolo fell down, <laughs> it was hilarious celebrations there, and it was great, man, I love to see it, just lo love to see it for Orlando, and overall, a solid performance, the starters were absolutely spectacular, Mark Elfuls with 14 points, 8 assists, he was plus 17 on the night, Franz Wagner with 21 points, 5 rebounds, he was 7 of 13, man, I really love how Franz Wagner works, man, he is such a perfect fit on so many teams, in my opinion, and it's great, Paolo with 11, 7, and, pardon me, 11, 6, and 6, 4 of 13, which, well, isn't great, and the shot, like I said, has been really off for him, but, Hey, he made one in the clutch at least, and still a solid overall game from him. Wendell got the game winner, 14 and 14, solid game from him. You got Gary Harris with 12, and Jonathan Isaac with 10, 7 and 2 steals, one block in 17 minutes, 4 of 6 from the field. And the defense looks still really good, the offense is looking solid. As long as he gets that conditioning up this season next year, he's gonna be a menace, I think. He's gonna be an absolute menace. And otherwise, the bench was really meh. 15 points from Cole Anthony. He made some really timely three-pointers, especially in the third quarter, at the end, and at the start of the fourth quarter. Otherwise, it was uh, not the greatest contributions. Well, for the Pistons, it was James Wiseman's second game, which I love to see. You know, still didn't start, played f close to 24 minutes, 8 points, 10 rebounds. He did have 3 turnovers and 3 fouls. Was a plus 16, but it was more due to Alec Burks and Hamidou Diallo just be going off. They were spectacular off the bench. Hamidou with 12 points, Alec Burks with 16 points, no misses except from the free throw line. But I liked what I saw from Big Jim. It was, you know, the plus minus guys. He was plus 16. Yeah, he was not better than he was against the Pistons. You could see some of the flaws that I'm always still scared of, but I hope that... The playing time and the experience, once it catches up, it will help him with all of those flaws in positioning, timing. The hands are something you're scared of always, because his hands are not elite. And, well, elite. His hands are pretty mediocre, to say the least. So that's something he has to just work on, if there is any way. I think there is, with some, you know, fast catching of tennis balls, usually is done to reflexes. And we'll see if, it you know, he'll work on it, but... He will get gradually better and more, with more playing time, he's going to be a really solid contributor for them. Otherwise, it was a really rough night for everyone else. Killing Hayes, I, I just, I just, I don't know what to think of him. I, I think he belongs not in the NBA, even though when he's making some of those tough shots, it's pretty fun, but I don't think he belongs, man. Jaden Ivey, 25 points, 4 assists, he did have 3 turnovers, but 9 of 13, 5 of 7 from the 3 point line. The 3 ball has been falling, and overall, he's been playing some really good offensive basketball, and it's great, man. It feels like he realized what he needed to do, slow down a little bit realize how he can use his advantages and his, you know, skill set with speed and everything. Not sure if anything changed with the free ball on it or it's just a hot streak, but he's been shooting it better even before the All-Star break. So these are some positive signs for Detroit. And yeah, I mean, unlucky loss, but hey, closer to a better pick, right?